Hola nuevos amigos, ¿cómo están hoy? ¿Están muy bien? Me alegro. Yo soy Señorita García. In this lesson of Nuevos Amigos, Juanita and Alex will keep looking for Diego. Do you think some of the community helpers might have seen Diego? I guess we'll find out as Juanita and Alex continue to search for him throughout the community. The verb for today will be ayudar. Ayudar means to help. Say it with me. Ayudar. Now I'm going to use ayudar in a sentence. Voy a ayudar a la comunidad. Let's say it together, nuevos amigos. One more time. Una vez más. Voy a ayudar a la comunidad. Let's practice our verb for the day and sing our theme song using the verb ayudar. keep looking for Diego today, Juanita? Yes, Alex. We can't give up. We have to find him. Where should we go look now? Hmm. I don't know, Juanita. I know. Let's ask some of our community helpers. Community helpers? Who might that be? Community helpers can be a policeman, a doctor, dentist, or even a nurse. A community helper is anyone that provides a service in our community. Well, let's get going. Hola, Zapatero. Hello. Have you seen Diego? No, I don't see you, Diego. Okay, adios. Adios, senor. I hope you find him. Me too. Hola, veterinaria. Hola, Juanita. Have you seen my friend Diego? I sure haven't. Maybe you should check at the fire station. Okay, gracias. Adios. Adios. Buenos dias, bombero. Buenos dias, Juanita. Have you seen my friend Diego? No, I haven't, but I'll keep my eye open for him. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, Juanita. Buenas tardes, oyero. Buenas tardes, Juanita. Have you seen my friend Diego? Uh, no, I haven't. You might try next door at the dentist. Okay. Adios. Adios. Hola, dentista. Hola, Alex. ¿Cómo está usted? Muy bien. Gracias. Have you seen my friend Diego? Uh, no, I haven't today. Okay, gracias. De nada. Hola, farmacéutico. ¿Cómo está usted? Hola, Alex. Muy bien. We've been looking for our friend Diego. Has he been here? I'm sorry, Alex. I haven't seen Diego today. Oh, okay. Gracias. Goodbye. Like Alex and Juanita mentioned, there are a lot of community helpers in our neighborhood. Where would you find a policeman? La policía. Did you say the fire station? La estación de bomberos? I don't think that's where we would find a policeman. Because la estación de bomberos is a fire station. Try again. Hmm. Where would you find a policeman? La policía. Did you say la estación de policía? You are correct. 
Correcto. La estación de policía is a police station. Ok, nuevos amigos. Where would you find a nurse? El enfermero o la enfermera. Hmm. Muy bien. El enfermero o la enfermera se encuentran en una clínica. You would find a nurse at the clinic. Great job, nuevos amigos. Make sure you write these community helpers in your Spanish journal. El zapatero. El farmacéutico. La enfermera. El joyero. El doctor. El dentista. El policía. La veterinaria. Where could Diego be? Hey, it's Zach. Hola, Zach. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Muy bien, señorita García. I'm in Venezuela. Do you think you can ask Dora to get us more information on Venezuela? Sure I can, Zach. Claro que sí. Hola, Dora. Hola, señorita García. I'm going to type in Venezuela. It's pretty long, so bear with me, Dora. B E N E Z U E L A Venezuela. Muchas gracias, señorita García. Here you go. There's a lot of information. Wow. In 1499, the Spanish explorer Alfonso de Ojeda made an expedition to the northern part of Venezuela. When Ojeda saw the Indians living in huts built on stilts in Lake Maracaibo, Ojeda and his mapmaker Américo Vespucci, for whom America is named after, were reminded of the canals of Venice. So they named the country Little Venice, or Venezuela. You can see how both cities were built on water. How awesome! Or in Venezuela, they would say, que chévere! Venezuela is the seventh largest country in South America. It lies at the north of the South American continent. Venezuela is about the size of Texas and Oklahoma combined. Caracas is the capital of Venezuela. It has a pleasant climate and has been called Los Angeles without the smog. It is a modern city with towering office buildings. Most people live in tall apartment buildings. Here is another view of Caracas. This is one of the largest growing cities in Latin America. It is also a center for finance and business. The national currency is the Bolivar. It was named after Simón Bolívar, the famous Libertador. He is known as El Libertador, who freed four South American countries from Spanish rule. Yes, Simón Bolívar has also been called the George Washington of South America. The flag of Venezuela is tricolored. It has amarillo, azul, Y rojo. It has seven stars on the middle blue stripe. Very good, Dora. Muy bien. Most Venezuelans have mixed ethnic backgrounds that are either Native American, European, or African. This is what you call mestizos, which are a combination of European and Native American. About 20% of Venezuelans are from the United States, 
Italy, Portugal, or Venezuela. The rest of Venezuelans are mulatto, or an ethnic group of African and European backgrounds. Spanish is the official language of Venezuela, but there are about 100 distinct languages and dialects spoken by the Indians living in Venezuela today. Venezuela can be divided into four geographic regions. They are the Venezuelan highlands, the Maracaibo lowlands, the plains, and the Guiana. Es tiempo para mirar el mapa de Sudamérica. Vamos a buscar a Venezuela. Aquí está Venezuela. Sí, sí, sí. Yes, yes, yes. Let's look at our Latin American map and find Venezuela on the South American continent. Vamos a colorear, cortar y pegar el país de Venezuela. Let's color, cut out, and glue the country of Venezuela. What countries are next to it? As I mentioned before, it lies at the north, al norte, of the South American continent. The northern side of Venezuela, el lado norte de Venezuela, is its coast. You will find the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Venezuela is between Colombia to the west, al oeste, and the Republic of Guiana to the east, al este. Venezuela shares its border with Brazil. Let's draw a star for the capital of Venezuela, Caracas. Let's say Caracas. Adios, Dora. Y gracias por la información. De nada. Adios. Adios, Zach. Hasta la próxima. Muchas gracias, Señorita Garcia. That is a lot of information about Venezuela. Tell Juanita and Diego hola. Hasta luego. Okay, Zach. Adios. Adios. Remember, let's take care of our world. When you take care of your world, you take care of yourself. amigos, I think that's all the time we have for today. Let's go over some of the things we've learned. We learned a lot about our community helpers and how to say them in Spanish. We learned el bombero, el dentista, el policía, el doctor, el farmacéutico, el veterinario, el zapatero, y el joyero. Wow, that was a lot of words to learn. Be sure to write them down in your Spanish journal. Here are the masculine and feminine words for the names of careers in Spanish. El bombero. La bombera. El dentista. La dentista. El policía. La policía. El doctor. La doctora. El farmacéutico. La farmacéutica. El veterinario. La veterinaria. El zapatero. La zapatera. El joyero. La joyera. El enfermero. La enfermera. 
la estación de policía. La estación de bomberos. Muy bien, nuevos amigos. Acuérdense, cuando aprendemos más de un idioma, podemos hacer nuevos amigos. Adiós.